Welcome to a brand new series of Match of the Day Top 10. Our regular experts, Alan Shearer and Micah Richards, are back. And after a fantastic World Cup, it's time to get back to the Premier League. This week, it's the greatest Premier League midfielders. And boy, what a list. What a goal! Alan, all the best with this one. <laughs> Can we just apologise now? <laughs> what a list. Apologise to start? nine of them. Nine of them won't yeah. win. We're going to be trending, aren't we, after this? We're going to be trending, getting all sorts of abuse. <laughs> <laughs> it, so oh, choose wisely, oh, Alan. Oh, yeah. my word. Yeah. I mean, none of us were, were midfield players, obviously, but I think we all appreciate it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I started as a midfielder. Seriously. What Hence happened? my point, none of us are midfield <laughs> players. <laughs> because you gradually got moved back. And back and back. That's what happens, isn't it? But, God, there's some talent in here. It's an impossible list. That's yeah. all we can say, isn't it? Because there's how many, ten how many of them? Players. How many? Well, actually, we'll do, we'll do that question after we give the ten out. Let me read the ten, yep. because it is quite something. In no particular order. One of the great African players of all time, Yaya Toure. The heartbeat of the Invincibles, Francis Patrick Vieira. Liverpool legend, Steven Gerrard. A man that covers every blade of grass, Angola Kante. One of the great midfield goal scorers, Frank Lampard. Arguably the greatest Premier League passer, Paul Scholes. Manchester United skipper and general for many years, Roy Keane. El Mago. The extremely skillful David Silva, Arsenal and Chelsea legend Cesc Fabregas, and finally Manchester City's assist king Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> what a list! <laughs> I tell you what, they're all so good here. Mm -hmm. Let's. And you don't have to look after mates in this, Mike. All right, you don't be frightened to offend some of your pals in that. I list. don't think anyone will be offended here, will they? They shouldn't be because the, the company is so elite, so elite. Even if you finish tenth in that company. Mm, you don't want to finish 10th, do you? <laughs> it's better than not being in the list. True, uh, And there's true. some great midfield players that are not in the list. Right, <laughs> Micah, give me your 10 to 6, please. Ten Kante. Kante, Kante! Kante is 10. <laughs> Kante is 10. Yeah. Number 9, Fabregas. Won everything except the Champions League. 8. Number 8, De Bruyne. Bruyne, he's still playing, he's still, come on, he's still playing, he's still got plenty of time to be number one, but right now he's, he's at number eight. Okay, seven. I know I'm going to get bad for this, but Lampard. Ooh, no. Yeah. Well, no, it's fine. I mean, look at, the, look at the three players behind him already, De Bruyne and Fabregas and Kante, so I, as I said, I can't see how anyone would take offence and be in any position. Six, Yaya. Yaya. Yep. Yeah. And Alan. Ten, Sesk Fabregas. Oof. Nine is Yaya Tori. Yeah. Come on, you're better than that, Alan. <laughs> Eight is Kante. Fair enough. <laughs> Seven is Vieira. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dog's in! The dog's in! He doesn't, he doesn't oh, agree no, either. No. I, I thought he was coming in because of Kante and Filmer. Oh my god, oh. Your, your BBC is number one pundit. Film it, kill it. And you put Vieira number seven. I thought you were going to laugh at the Roy Keane one. Deary, deary, deary me. Honest to God. We've got top ten pundits after this. You're number number ten. Number six, Al. Um. Oh, Kevin De Bruyne. De Bruyne. Oh, dear. Oh, we'll come to Vieira later. You need to calm down at fraction. Right, let's start with Ungolo Kante, who, well, he's obviously one of my heroes. This is one of the, the, the Leicester league-winning team. Um, 
Also did it at Chelsea, he's won a World Cup, he's won the Champions League, he's kind of done everything. He's got everything, haven't he? The list was so, yeah. and I suppose was so he great. Is, he is a defensive midfield player rather than attacking midfield player. I don't think I've seen anyone cover as much grass as him in terms mm. of the work rate that he put in. I know he's getting on a bit now and he's, get, he's had a few injuries, but just an unbelievable player in terms of protecting, winning the ball back, giving it. It's, yeah, I, I think he was the best at doing that. Yeah. If you did a list of defensive midfield players, you'd, you'd have obviously Makaleli been there as well. Who would you? Top, top, it'd be Wait, top let's, three. Let's, oh, okay, let's save yes. it. Let's because I think there's one there in the future. Can we get another one commission? When we're on Series 73, there we've run go. out of every possible topic. <laughs> we can go right to defensive midfield down. players. <laughs> Um, Cesc Fabregas, um, Alan, you got in him at 10, and Micah at 9. Cesc is... Real genius. Oh, what a footballer. He, if he would have... His be, not his best years, but at Arsenal, when he used to play against him, he could get nowhere near him. Yeah. Technically brilliant, could, could, could see a pass, and he was strong as well. You know, he loved to tackle, he was inspirational. Didn't quite get the medals at Arsenal. But then he went to Chelsea and got the Premier League, didn't he? I think he won two with, with Chelsea. He won FA Cups with... Oh, yeah, but League. Premier Leagues, yeah. we're talking about. The, yeah. Two Premier these. League, two FA Cups, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I think, yeah. Um, my notes. He, he won, I think he won pretty much everything except the Champions League because he kind of missed out with Barcelona, didn't he? When he I think he just missed in the seasons when they, they won everything. But he's, he obviously won, he's won, he's won the Spanish so League. So elegant, he, he won, he's smooth yeah. and elegant. And yeah. Lovely pass with the ball as well. Yeah. yeah, he's very, very good. I think he, I think he wants to be a manager. He's you can intelligent, see it, can't isn't it? It's the intelligence that he's got. I, I, I did. A, I was lucky enough to do a series with him about winning a World Cup, um, which was f for a, a, a different podcast. And he was. I mean, he's so intelligent and a lovely guy as well. We've worked with him. Oh, yeah. As a I think it, uh, 350 appearances in the Premier League, 111 assists. That's some good. That's, that is unbelievable. That's a lot. Yeah. Sort of players. Yeah, a lovely guy. You'd want to play with. Yeah, yeah. You know what? When you made the run, he'd, he'd find you with a pass. Yeah. So yeah, hugely important for a mm. forward. That mm. wonderful player. It's crazy you have a midfield list and and you've got Yaya Toure at nine. Oh no. Talk to me about. <clears throat> yeah, you know, we've spoken many times about Toure over, over the years. I think he's underrated. I, I think. Do you? Yeah, I do. If you think about players who took Man City to the, you know, to the Premier League, yeah. you're looking at Silva, you're looking at Yaya, yeah, and Vincent Company. Yeah. Joe well, have you Hart. got him in your list? Uh, he's number six, Yaya, for me. So yeah. just it's high. So sure, yeah, it's, it's high. Yeah. And everyone talks about his power and his pace, but his technique, the way mm. he used to control games. Remember, we went to your place, Newcastle. I think that was uh, the game before the, the QPR. And we needed to win. Right. Uh, and we won 2 0. And Yaya, we said before we went out, we said, I'm going to score today. They'll just give the ball to me, I'm going to score. He said that he was going out, mm. was uh, in a change room before you're going out. And you know, it's tense because you think Newcastle away is always a tough fixture to go up, no yeah. matter in what era. Tougher nowadays. Right, it's tougher now. You're doing all right now. But still not going to win Much the tougher than years. it was when he played, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, he, he wasn't arrogant, but he was confident. He said, give the ball to me today mm. and I'll score. And yeah. he ends up being the hero. Yaya Toure goes to return. He'll go for goal. Brilliant effort. Brilliant goal. Kevin De Bruyne, um, eight and six. As you said, he's got, he's got more time. Um, Cool. If we were to do this in another two or three years' time, then I guess he would be, I'd be he'd probably be higher. Mm. I think as a forward, you can't not appreciate what oh. he does. I mean, imagine the I mean, look at this, look, look, look what Haaland's doing. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you imagine playing in the same team as in De Bruyne? I know. The crosses, the yeah. passes. And we spoke about Fabregas and his assists and what have you, but I mean, De Bruyne's incredible yeah. as well, isn't he? Well, that's it, yeah. If De Bruyne carries on the way he's going, he, he'll be in my top three. If you do this again in five years, yeah. it'll be my top three. I'm not three. sure you'll still be around there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if all Never mind before. Kevin De Bruyne. <laughs> <laughs> OK, this is the moment of truth. Cool. Give me your top five. Alan, you can go first this time. Five, Roy Keane. Yeah. Four, David Silva. Yeah. 
three Frank Lampard. Yep. Two. Two. He's still, he's still thinking about you, then he changed your mind. He's, he's gone Gerard, obviously. Steven Gerard won. Wow, okay. That old debate, Lampard, Scholes and oh. Gerrards. You've had to put them in an order, <laughs> finally. Micah, five. Silver. Yep. Four. Scholes. Oh, I can see what's happening here. <laughs> I can see it already. What's happening? I can see what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> He's given a list. Yeah. Three. Vieira. <clears throat> Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two. Keen. Keen. Oh, oh, he doesn't want to upset Roy. Oh, he doesn't want to upset Roy when he works with him next. <laughs> I thought he was going to get frightened of a stare. <laughs> right, go on, one. Gerard. Ooh, blimey, but great. Thank heavens for that, because I thought otherwise I'd have had to make the decision. <laughs> <laughs> Huge sigh of relief. Oh, blimey. Can we, can, we, can we not ask you, then, who would you have as number one? Just while we're here, it's like, just to give an opinion on number one? He likes sitting on the fence as I, Gary, doesn't he? <laughs> he does. Why do you think I went into presenting and not done the trick? <laughs> do you think I'm a fool? Um, but, I, oof, uh, I don't know. I'll give it some thought and I'll let you know right at the end. I'm going to save it, OK? OK. <laughs> because I'm going to change my mind 15 times. OK, right. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go one thing, right? I'm going to say to something now, right, Alan? Mm -hmm. You remember, I think it was pre-Micah when we did it with Wrighty. Mm. We did an all-time greatest Premier League player. Yeah. And you had Roy Keane as number one, if I remember rightly. Just yeah. ahead of Thierry Henry. Yeah. So now we've got all-time top midfield players. Yeah. Yet you've got Roy Keane at five. No, because I'd, I'm look at that as a, If you add into the captaincy, that's that involves being a player and what have you. This is midfielders. This is not captaincy and what have you. So that's what my excuse. Pardon? You've been thinking about that. We had you've top ten been, captains as you've well. You've been thinking about that as well, haven't you? You thought I'm going to get him on that. I'm going to wait for his answer. <laughs> you've been well, of course. That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's so you've taken in. Captains into consideration when you're talking about all-time great players, but you don't take captains into consideration when you're talking about all-time top midfield players. No, I mean, I was feeling slightly different on that day. It's different to do. <laughs> Basically, he got... He's had a... Yeah, someone on, on Twitter said something to him and he <laughs> himself. <I don't> <laughs> <laughs> that's what's happened. Do you think? Yeah, you think 100, that's what's happened? 100%. Do you think you yourself by putting Keane that high as two? No, no, I just uh, go with what I see, you know what yeah. I mean? Keane was, was top notch. I suppose when you look at the, I mean, Keane was a leader. There's mm -hmm. no question about that. He's, you know, he was strong, he was tough. He's, but he, he, you know, he's, he's probably not got the natural talent, perhaps, of one or two of the others in that list. Alan, is that what you're saying? I wouldn't disagree <laughs> with that. Yeah, I mean, when you, and also when I mean, the reason I've got Frank Keane on him is is the, is the goals of what Frank yeah. offered from uh, from midfield in terms of the goals. And I think 609 appearances, Frank Lampard, mm -hmm. which I've also taken into uh, consideration. Roy was 366 yeah. on here, so. They won everything, really, in club football. Unbelievable. I said, well, they all have, but well, most of them, haven't they? I think as a, as a leader, as a, and a bit of an enforcer, as a guy who's yeah. going to get everyone together and an all-round midfielder, then I don't think you're going to argue with Roy. He, was... he scored a lot of goals, though, Roy, as well, didn't he? Mm. He wasn't just a... Defensive midfielder. Roy Keane, still Roy Keane, great chance, Roy Keane. It was only when he got his injuries he sort of went into that position, but yeah. before he was box to box, wasn't he? Yeah. I just think when you got someone like Roy on the on the pitch, you feel secure, don't you? You're gonna do your job. All right, yeah. all right. You can go back to Sky. You can go back. So I said, I said some right. lovely things about you, Roy. <laughs> when you've got Roy sat next to you in the studio, you feel really safe, and it's like I told you, Roy. I told you I'd say some lovely things about you. Roy I told this, you. Roy that. Roy's my well, friend. Make, sure, make sure you listen to the best midfielders. <laughs> he, he's not listening to this, man. <laughs> yes, he is. He <laughs> He wouldn't subscribe to BBC Sounds. <laughs> 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 uh, 
You don't know that, though, do you? Maybe he is. Maybe he's a keen subscriber. <laughs> uh, but a, David Silva. I suppose he's one of those players that you could include as a forward as well. He's, yeah. Because sometimes he played up top on the left. Left of the three, he didn't he? Yeah. Um, but another sumptuous footballer. Four yeah. Premier Leagues, five League Cups, two FA Cups. Yeah. I think with that, though, you've got to see where he's coming from. Like when he signed in 2010, I think it was, um, it was just... You remember when he walked through the door? Did you know yeah, anything about him at that point? No, we, did you no, just think, what's no, this? No, we played... Uh, I think he, I said ten, he did 10 years, didn't he? Was it 10 years he did at City? Yeah, around that time. Yeah. But he, we played him in um, a friendly, Valencia. So they had silver and matter a couple uh, of years before. Oh, my God. He spotted him then. He was ridiculous. Yeah. I think he begged me about three times. Yeah. He was just... You could just see. He was playing a different... A That's mat. not saying that much. Well, I mean, yeah. I was, <laughs> was quite good back then. Yeah. <laughs> Is that when you burst onto the scene? <laughs> no, no, we're leaving burst into the scene in 2022 now. We need a new one. It's 23. That's what I'm saying. We're leaving it. Oh, right, Do you know okay. what I mean? We need something new. Disappeared from the scene? <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, I seen him from a long time ago. But when yeah. he came through, it was could he do that in the Premier League? Yeah, because you know how physical it I is. I remember you said he, 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 the last person you think looking at me, you said he loves a beer. Oh, dear. yeah. yeah. If, have you read my book yet? I'll give you. You just read the stories <laughs> in there. Uh, yeah, I was struggling for some logs oh, and what have you. I got halfway through the book and I think I've heard every one of these stories. <laughs> I've heard them all on the, yeah, on, the on BBC Sounds, <laughs> where I subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've told all the stories. Loved the beer. Mm. Great on a night out. Yeah. And that's all I can say. Yeah. I don't want to put his personal life in and mm. get anyone in trouble. <laughs> I think you have done by that just intimating something. But <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 top bloke, yeah. it really was. So, yeah, silver doesn't win silver. He's just below second place. Fourth and fifth. Right, there was a little bit of a... What?! When he put Patrick Vieira uh, at seven, you've got him at three. You were an Arsenal fan growing up. That would have been the time you watched him, was it? Vieira, come on. Oh. I put Keane just ahead of him because of the, the rivalry. But to because you sit next to him. To put, to, we, what yeah. was the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what made him better than Tory? Um, ooh, better going backwards? <laughs> yeah. I just think he controlled the game more, no matter what situation... It was. Do you know what I mean? So if he needed to be defensive, he'd be defensive. If he needed to be attacking. Look at all the goals he scored. Do you remember? He, can't remember. Is that that little death chip that he did when he run all the way from his his own half? Um, good technically. He was a big unit. Good yeah, in the he air. Was, yeah. He had absolutely mm. everything. So you know, when you stood in the tunnel against when he was at the uh, when he yeah. was at the front on yeah. Vieira, he was like he had a presence about yeah. him, didn't he? he was yeah. Like, yeah. He wasn't arrogant in any way, but he had this aura about him that if you want to mix it, I'll have a fight with you today. Yeah. Anyone. Yeah, you could you could see that. I mean, yeah. it's not that. I think a few probably cowed away from Roy Keane over the years, but mm, but he didn't, did he? No. That 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 rivalry be, between. Who do you think won the rivalry? Not a lot in it, was there? Mm. I mean, they both won loads of titles, didn't they? Loads of. Mm. Who um, do you think's a better player out of Keane and Vieira? <sighs> If you had to pick one, why are you putting me on? That? <laughs> <laughs> what have I done to deserve that question? You've seen him more than anyone. Um, I don't work with Roy Keane, so I'd probably go <laughs> <laughs> Roy Keane. Um, so little to choose between them, isn't there? I don't know. They're very similar, aren't they? In a way. Exactly. Yeah. It's tough. That's why. I and put they could them. also both lose their heads occasionally. Yeah. Occasionally, even Vieira. I'd probably go Vieira. Okay. Just. Just, I think. Yeah. World Cup. Where have you got Frank Lampard, by the way? He's got him at seven. 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 Seven's low, isn't it? Yeah. Seven for Frank. I just believe... Look at his yeah, goals he... compared to all the other midfielders. Yeah, but he was allowed to do that, wasn't it? That was his role. Well, you didn't see Lampard... Well, well have you ever got a manager go... I don't want you scoring any goals today. I know, yeah, but we only got <laughs> Makalele and Mikel and, yeah. and Essien. The oh. time of his run was impeccable. I'm not taking anything away, it was top, but I just believe other players had a little bit more in terms of 
what they could do for the team. I think the responsibility 609 was 609 appearances, Frank, you know. Yeah. Well, I still think the rest, in terms of what they did for their team, all the responsibility was, was greater. Right, let's get to the big three. Um, we'll discuss them. Frank Lampard, so you've got him low down. Mm -hmm. um, You've put him in there, obviously, for his goals tally for the appearances you've just you've yeah. just mentioned. Why are the other two better than him? Because there's always that debate between the three, isn't it? It's a really tough one. I get I get it. Um, the only reason well, I had Frank as three because of his longevity and the appearances and the goals that went with that. Scholes. I think Scholes could do a bit of everything in the midfield. Goals started out, didn't he, as um, more of a forward? Uh, he, you know, I've seen him play up top, seen him play number yeah. ten, and he kind of gradually. I mean, his passing was out yeah. of this world. Scores he wasn't, his, and his technique, and he could also score goals without a doubt. Yeah. Um, I was, I was watching um, Pep Guardiola got interviewed, and he was asked the question about the three: Gerard, Lampard, or Scholes. What was his answer? Scholes. Was it? He went. Phew. He ummed an art like we all do, and then he went. Scott has got to be scolds. Yeah, he's more, the, you can see him more of a Pep kind of player. More of a technician. Because he's a technician. He? Yeah. And so that didn't surprise me at all. Didn't surprise me at yeah. all. Yeah. But if someone had the other way around, you know, I'm not going to argue against no. him. Do you know what? Pep. I've been asked this question for, I don't know, 20 years or whatever it is. Mm. And I, I think I've given all three different, oh, yeah, just, <laughs> at yeah. different times. Yeah. There's when I've an excuse I keep for that. I keep changing. There's an excuse I do that. change yeah. my mind. Is it, is, as a striker, Alan, which one would you sooner play with? Who'd be preferred if you could only have one in your team? Um. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to upset his mates, do they? No, I mean, uh, I uh, played against him and then, so... Well, you played with and against all three, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, with and against. Yeah. It's probably more so Scolzi with uh, with England yeah. and, yeah, his passing. Well, I think probably as a, Scholes, as a striker, though, Scholes, I, I thought that was a more obvious question. Yeah, probably because Scholes, Scholes yeah. was probably the most yeah. creative. Frank would probably take areas up in the box that yeah. you'd want to be in yourself yeah. occasionally because yeah. he was so brilliant at that. And Gerard was... God. How the hell didn't we win anything with that ability, those three? I know. With England. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't just those part three. Of the problem. People like you up top. Maybe, and, and, you know, Maybe that was part of the that, problem. You couldn't really... fit them in. Who, well, who... That, was, it is, it? that was Sven's problem, wasn't it? Yeah. But, he, but he would insist on playing a rigid 4-4-2. Four, four, two. Two, and he ended up either playing Skulls on the left or... Yeah. And he... Castle. But the argument, going back to Gerrard, I, I admire him in a way for doing what he did at Liverpool and having the chance to leave but staying at his club and creating his yeah. legacy at, at his club and the way that mm. he did. I admire him for that. He's, he's, he's the best. He's the be I, mean, I say he's the best because of the fact that the, the players and the teams he's been in, and he always managed to, to galvanise that team spirit. His standards were so high. Got so close to winning the league. Yeah. Took him to the Champions League. That's that that's he, moment when, of all people, when he, he, <sighs> slipped, he slipped. What, what was, are the chances of that? I, yeah. It's just, uh, I, I, was, I was genuinely gutted for him. Me too. Because you're thinking just Premier League, just to cement that, that legacy, which yeah. he already has, but yeah. just the Premier League would have just yeah. been, I, I mean, don't think it would have been I a mean, debate. If you look at Istanbul when that, that extraordinary game against Milan when they were 3 0 down yeah. at half time, I mean, it was him pretty much, wasn't it, that dragged them back yeah. into that game? Yeah, it was. With yeah. sheer determination. Yeah, quality. And he played with some top midfielders, you know, he's, Alonso was, was mm. a top midfielder as well. Yeah. Um, there's a, there's it, one that could have, could have, could definitely yeah. have made the list. Definitely. Yeah. Um, but I just think for all round, if you look at, Defensive attributes, attacking, mm. passing, mentality. He's got yeah, I everything. think if you're looking to build a perfect package as a midfielder, you wouldn't go too far from Gerard, would you? Yeah. And everything that he's got, mm. energy, personality, mm -hmm. tackling, goals, everything, longevity. Yeah. Well, I said I'd give mine at the end. <laughs> and you've convinced me. <laughs> okay. I'm going to go with you. Um, uh, Stephen Gerrard, an unbelievable list. That is our top ten 
midfield players feel free uh, to disagree. You will, of course, especially on this one, uh, using the hashtag MOTD Top 10. We'll see you next time.